What's going on guys, James Exotics here. Today's video is a day late as you know, but I'm going to do a little feeding video today. But right now, um, as you can see, I'm wearing two pairs of gloves on, which this is on the wrong hand. But it's past the front, uh, it past the back and front. And I've just been bitten by my male salmon boa while attempting to feed, well, attempted to move them back from the glass ready for feeding. So the problem was, I think is what I did, I did that where he managed to take out um, that finger there and them two. So... Right now, as you can see, my female salmon boa is really fired up. She's against the glass. She's striked at the glass twice. I pulled out one tooth from my male salmon. As you can see, he's pushed up against the glass too, and he's not very really happy. My female snow cone has just finished eating. So, as you can see, if you come a bit closer, Cam, then as you can see now with my female, she's really fired up and she's looking at the glass on whenever food does come in. She's in the air shape, she's ready to strike. So, King Serpents as your own boas and stuff. You might get this as they're not aggressive. I don't find these aggressive. They'll find me any other day of the week. I can touch them, I can like open their mouth. I need to check the teeth, stuff, make sure they're healthy and make sure they've got no mouth diseases. But on the day of feeding, I'll take a smell of the rats and she's eyeing me up like she is now then I know that they're hungry and I know that they need to eat so it's nothing to worry about if you do get this just all I can say is really from my experience so far of them is you want to try and get them back from the glass the best you can do not do that as I did um, if you've got a buck or something if they're coming out the glass as my male salmon bowl was up to here with the glass you just want to push them back slowly and get them in and shut the door and I think what I'm going to do is now is possibly leave here for about an hour or something, as I know someone's open my glass, she's probably going to strike, and if she hits my eye, then it's not going to turn up too well. But, um, I think what I'm going to try to do now is, if I just check these rats, as they're still a little bit cold and stuff, I think I'm going to cut the video here, wait a little bit for these rats to warm, and I think I'll resume the video where I'm going to feed the both boas, so you can see what they feed like. Um, if I get bit, I get bit, it's going to happen, it's the second time I've been bit now, but um, they've both been by accidental when it comes to feeding, so again, these guys aren't aggressive, but I'm just going to leave it there, and I'm going to come back to you when I'm feeding them. Right guys, we're back now, and um, my females calmed down a slight bit as I sprayed my room with some air fresher as well, so it just reduces the smell of the rats, so the food they're going to be eating, so it seems like it's calmed down a bit. So I've got this just in case of in emergencies. These are not teeth marks if you're wondering. I don't know where they're from. But that is my blood from when I got bit. It was the first thing I wiped it in and I didn't know what to do straight away. And so I got downstairs. So my male has moved to that side. I'm hoping he stays that side. I've got this in case he pops out. So if he does I can just push him back in. But I'm hopefully going to be able to feed my male at least so you guys can see. So if you want to make your way over to me you can. In some way or another, just try and get this side there, and I'm going to try and get his box open and feed him. I think after this feeding, I'm going to um, move up their rats in size, so they're eating bigger rats. As you can see, he can smell them, he knows where they are, so me and Cam are going to switch sides real quick. And I'm going to get this rat in, as quick as I possibly can. And um, I'm going to try my best to get you the best view you can, guys, on the feeding of this bower. So I'm just going to try and open this a little bit, not too much to disturb him. But as you can see, a bit more better um, quality on how they feed. As you can see, they're constrictors, so... Still again, guys, I would still say get salmon boas. They are really calm, dorsal snakes. It's just, you know, that one-off today where he's bit me um, coming towards feeding again. My female, she's half and half right now on the calm side. I think I'm going to be able to actually feed a few guys now, so... If she can just pick a side for me to go opposite, then it's going to work pretty well. If he does stay on the same side, then it's going to be a bit harder. So, as you can see, what I'm doing is I'm wearing the gloves just in case they do bite. It won't hurt as much or won't go through the gloves, hopefully. And, um, you know, she's picked one side. So, what I'm going to do is open that, put my hands that side, and try and slide the other side so I can put this in quickly. And she should just take it straight from the tongs and away from my hands. But for some reason she's gone for tail. 
So as you can see guys, she's happy now, she's fed. She's going to close this very slowly. So, you can see them eat. But if the quality's not the best guys, so I'm going through the glass, I'm sorry. I don't want to disturb them too much as they eat. But I think next one I'm going to try and do is try and get my female corn snake hair patch to eat if I can. She doesn't always eat for me. Well, she does normally eat for me, but sometimes she goes off food for a week or she only eat one week. Then she eats the next. I prefer corn snakes here feeding as they're just much smaller and they don't too much to worry about. So, wherever she takes it, I don't know. She might, she might not. But she's quite a fussy eater at times. As you can see, she's very jumpy as well. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it to eat for you. But I don't think I can, so I'm not going to stress her out too much. I'll try her again later. But I know she will eat today at some point, so. What we do is, is leave it there. Um, these guys, um, they might have a defrost yet, so I'm going to leave them out today. But I will definitely show you next week the hawk nose and the Brazilian rainbow boa eat them. So, yeah, they still haven't really defrosted. Well, actually, yeah, they have. So, I can show you probably the rainbow boa eating today, as he's a lot calmer. And I don't mind getting bit by this guy, as I think I've been bit by him twice. I think, camera knows, I'm not sure. The other side. So, with your um, comment, King Serpents, where you asked me about the humidity, um, for these guys, if you do get one of these, which are really amazing snakes, then they need about 70% as the the lot of humidity. But I don't know what he's interested in right now. He's just staring at me. Wherever he wants this, I'm not too sure. But he seems hungry, but that's where he'll take it. Unless he wants to go for my fingers. As these guys grow, they do get a lot more... Like, thing for appetite. But for some reason, he just doesn't want to take it right now. Maybe he will. I don't know. Come on. So yeah, I don't think he's going to eat for me right now, unless I could um, probably um, pick up the mouth a different way maybe and try and push the nose into his mouth, like that, and then they take it, so he's fed now and happy, I'll put his hide, well I'll put his piece of wood back after I've um, done, after he's done eating, so He's going to grow quick now, he's had a little growth spurt, so. It's all looking good guys so far for snakes and stuff. I just wanted to keep you updated on these guys as they're still all happy. Um, other than today I've been bit, but you know, that happens, so. As you can see, all I'm wearing now is like literally bite gloves. But you can get um, some special gloves, I think, for snakes. Or you can just get a set of like leather gloves as a teeth can't go through leather, I'm pretty sure, I've been told. But I would still say, even if the teeth can't, if you get told they can't go through leather, still make sure. What I'm going to do is quickly before we end this video is show you what my bowl's done to me. Is I can take these plasters off now. Um, so, they're not very really big bites and stuff. But as you can see, you can admire my uh, Star Wars, you know, plasters. If I can try and get them off. So... I got one more guys and I'll just show you the two bites. They're not very big, they're very small holes when they bite you so you don't get fussed too much and they do heal after about a day or two. But as you can see, hopefully it focuses and stuff on there. Um, so what I'm going to do is, as you're going to hear noise guys, I'm going to turn the auto focus on. As you can see, um, if it focuses, um, that I've been bit so. You can see you've got one, two, sorry, two, and three. But, um, they're not too bad and stuff as 
the auto focus is just going to have his moment, so you're going to hear that, but sorry if it's too loud, if it is loud in the video, I'm not too sure, but um, other than that, I really hope you enjoyed this video today, guys, and I will see you definitely on Tuesday, um, and, you know, I think that's about it for today, guys. Um, enjoy doing what you do, please like and subscribe to this video, and leave me down in the comments how your day's been so far, and I will see you on Tuesday.